Yo, yo, what up, fam? My accounting fam, my squad. Guess what? We's back. What are we back for? We're back for AFB number 36. This is my classic series. You know what it is, man. Number 36, adjusting entries. We're going to do a summary. This is going to be, we're going to adjust some entries today. We're going to do a summary. The preceding videos we've done adjusting entries. We did depreciation expense, prepaid expense, on our revenue, accrued revenues, uh, and accrued expenses. So I've done those videos, along with currently about 30 other ones. And I'll, I'll put the playlist up here, best accounting playlist in the world. The bar none on the planet. So check that out if this is, if this is uh, your first time and you want to learn how to do accounting, like a lot of other people have been. Also, this is kind of, this is the mapping system. DC, a lure, debit credit, asset draw expense, liability, equity, revenue. This is my mapping system that I pretty much use. I passed the CPA exam with this and I pretty much still use it today. Although I just put a, I just kind of see it in my head. I've written it thousands and thousands and thousands of times because I'm not lazy and I used to write out every day in the the top of my paper, you know, sacrifice, hustle, grind, because I wouldn't feel like getting out of bed. I'd be like, oh, they're hating on you, so i write that on the very top. Whatever would get me motivated to study. So I'd look at that the whole day while I was studying. And I'd also write down DCA, or a new sheet every day. I wouldn't just go with the old sheet and look at it. A new sheet every day, because when you write it, it goes down. So I'd write this. I also had this when I was studying for the CPA exam, because I just... I was very, 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 very bad with accruals. I didn't understand those for like four or five years of accounting. <laughs> Pretty much I had my degree and I didn't really know what accrual was. So I just, I went deeper into it and I figured out that, hey, accruals, no cash. So I started writing that down on paper every day. Maybe not this scenario, the adjusting entry scenario, but I would take something that I didn't quite understand and I would just break it down with like, you know, my friend borrowed five bucks, or I borrowed five bucks, or I bought this for two bucks, sold it for four. Just small things in my real life that happened, and you know, it would I would do it for an hour or something. Maybe I have like a basketball game on behind me on the TV, so I'd just be like, just really thinking like outside the box about something. And that helped me a lot too. Although it would take more time, a couple hours to do that, um, I would know kind of my own way intuitively. So this would be like something that I would do, you know, if I was learning. And um, I wish maybe I would have done this earlier. Is uh, maybe I would have watched my favorite, my favorite accounting instructor uh, do adjusting entries. And I kind of get them, and I kind of don't. And he doesn't have the summary for me. <laughs> So he moves on from adjusting entries and I'm like, oh, um, I don't really understand it. Let me just, you know, myself start writing stuff down and see if I can get things to uh, summarize for myself. But luckily for you, I've done it. I'm here. I love doing this. This is what we do. Come on, man. This is fun. What are some similarities? What are some similarities that I see here? Accrued is no cash. And these are these are the the la, the uh, adjusting entry videos I did. Now depreciation expense is kind of its own. It's not in this these four. It's not in like a box. It's kind of its own thing. We've done a lot of videos on depreciation. It's a depreciation expense. Credit accumulated depreciation. It's kind of its own thing. Over here, we're gonna we're gonna look into these four prepaid expense right here. Unearned revenue right here. Accrued revenue, right here. Accrued expense, right here in these four different boxes. And now, something I would notice right off, right off the bat here, accrued revenue. I mean, I know accrued is no cash. We know accrued is no cash. So there's no cash over here. Where, where accrued is, there's no cash. Okay, where accrued is, there's no cash. So does that mean if it's not accrued, that there is cash? 
in the back. Um, yeah, yes, that's what it means. So over here, up here, there is cash, kind of by kind of by uh, deletion or whatever. So that's that's in summary, kind of what I noticed. Also, you've got. So you got cash, no cash. Then you've got two, two of the uh, adjusting entries that end in revenues. All right. And then you've got two of the adjust, adjusting entries that are expenses. There are similarities. Let's go. So let's go, the accrued, the accrued expense is um, wages that, that are an expense that have been, uh, they've been an expense but no cash. So, so think about it, if there's no cash, something else had to happen, right? So the expense had to happen. So that's, so that's this one. Then let's go to the other accrued revenue. No cash. So something had to happen. So this one says something had to happen revenue no cash so I worked but didn't get didn't get the cash yet so if that's if that's these let's flip let's flip and go from accrue revenue to earn revenue now they're both I guess both revenues but ones we know accrued no cash so that's no cash so Accrued revenue is did did work no cash malo bad bad that sucks. So what's the opposite of that? Earn earn revenue. Well, it's not accrued, so um, <clears throat> it's unearned. So we do have a cash outlay, and it's unearned. So we have the cash, and we didn't uh, didn't do the work. That's why it's unearned yet. And this is not actually this is a revenue. This is actually a. Um, liability so it's one of the only liabilities without a payable and then the accrued expense was or no cash sorry accrued is no cash so we had an expense it was we owed wages in that example no cash so we accrued it so we didn't pay them so what would be maybe the, the opposite of that adjusting is we've already we've already paid out the expense prepaid expense a kind of I mean, we've all prepaid for something I think so you, you just you gotta break it down and go slow and um, and then it's a prepaid expense so it's kind of the opposite here accrued expense no cash the opposite of that a prepaid expense is yes cash cash went out but I didn't get the service yet um, so anyways this is just a nice little little summary video we're gonna talk about being consistent and, and being a motivating and uh, inspiring factor for my viewers now I can't I can't get it I, I I just I just love it and I never set out to be motivational be inspiring to anybody but I guess I look towards other people for inspiration motivation and I get inspired that they they consistently uh, do their thing, do their hustle, do their grind. You know, for all the people that uh, that I can help motivate and inspire. I mean, I never thought that that would be my space. I never thought that could happen for me to anybody. But if it does, then you know what? I'm here for you because I'm going to grind. I'm going to be consistent. I'm the underdog. I've been the underdog my whole life. Okay, ever since I can remember, no one's had anything good to say about me until the last couple years. Grind in new videos every three, three new accounting videos every week along with everything else that I do because I love it. I love the grind. I love the hustle. Till next time, deuces.